Hey, it's me, Brian, with TeachSelfAwareness.com. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five tips to law of attraction. You're going to be able to bring into your life and attract and manifest money, people, relationships, jobs, whatever it is you prefer. Let's get started. So, have you heard about the law of attraction? I'm sure you have, but it's really a simple thing. Basically, you're going to be able to vote for the things that you want to come to pass in your life. You're going to be able to manifest things. You're going to be able to attract things. You're going to be able to use this simple law of attraction and these simple tips to be able to make your manifestations arrive quicker and know that they are on their way. So the number one tip for the first step to manifest faster is you want to tell yourself a story. Tell yourself a story. Yeah. We, when we were kids, we were telling ourselves stories all the time, making believe, using our imagination, just telling a story. The way that works is you just start talking about what it is that you want things to be like. Hey, you know, I'm just telling myself a story all of a sudden out of nowhere, like I'm getting the keys to this car and I'm like amazed because it's my car and I own it and I manifested it with the law of attraction. Wow, I feel awesome. Can't wait to start it, turn on the ignition and drive away. Tell yourself a story. And if you really want to use that in a most effective way, tell yourself the story that anything that you prefer just comes to pass quickly, easily, effortlessly, that you are a manifesting machine, right? So that's tip number one, tell yourself a story. So tip number two for the law of attraction to manifest things quick, easy, painlessly. Tip number two is pause and get calm. What? Yes, pause and quiet your emotions by taking conscious breaths. Focusing on our breathing calms our emotions. And why do we do that? Why is that important for the law of attraction? Because when we are calm and clear headed and quietly aware, then we can tell ourselves whatever story we prefer. And we're able to do that, point our imagination, point our power without any undue influence from our emotional nature, right? We're in a position of power where we can tell stories, the stories that we really want to see come to pass in our lives. So that's tip number two is to pause and get calm by taking a few slow, deep breaths. You want to do that all throughout the day so you can develop the ability of being neutral and awake and calm and serene so that you can paint the pictures, tell the stories that you want to see happen. So tip number three to be a champion at manifesting with the law of attraction is embrace everything. Embrace everything. And what I mean by that is accept everything that's happening as part of this story of you getting what you're looking for, getting what you're preferring, getting what you want to attract, right? So it doesn't matter if the things that happen around you are negative or positive. Just embrace everything. Always be like, wow, something's unfolding. I don't know how this fits in with me getting the thing that I want to attract, but somehow it does. And if you ponder that, and if you look at things in that way, if you embrace everything is happening for you, not against you, but for you, then you'll start to see evidence of your manifestation coming to pass. So, Embrace everything, accept everything. And you can do that if you have been practicing tip number two, which was pausing and being calm, pausing and getting calm. When we're emotionally calm, we're able to just choose to accept rather than fight and retaliate and see things as negative or against us, right? And that way we're going to be able to tell that story that we want to tell, that we are getting everything that we prefer in life. It's just unfolding easily, effortlessly, and is an enjoyable process. So tip number four, to be a champion manifester with the law of attraction, right? To get the things you want, to get the money, the job, the relationships, the whatever their heart's desire is. That fourth tip that I have for you is... Mirror people, mirror people. What am I talking about? I mean that when people come up to you and they're saying things to you that is 
rubbing you the wrong way, just mirror them. Show them you understand them. For example, someone comes up and says, hey, Brian, what are you doing today? And you say, well, actually, I've been watching a video about the law of attraction and these top five tips, and I am attracting, right, one of my goals. And they say to you, oh, that's stupid. That's silly. What's wrong with you, you weirdo? Then you might say to them, you might just mirror them. Don't fight them. Don't push them away. You want to embrace them as part of the story, right? And you might say, oh, what you're telling me is that law of attraction stuff is just for the birds, right? And they'll say yes. So you just mirror back what they're saying. You say to them in your own words what you hear them saying. Hey, Brian, I think that law of attraction is bunk. It doesn't work. It's not real. Oh, what I hear you saying is when you think of that, you're saying to yourself, that's never going to work. And they will say yes. You want to mirror back to them. You don't fight it. You don't buy into it. You just reflect it back in your own words from that calm space. And if you're pausing and getting calm, you're going to be able to do it from that neutral space, right? Of goodwill and acceptance and embracing everything. And that way you're going to be able to keep telling yourself that story, that doubt-free story that everything you really want is just unfolding effortlessly. And you're just receiving it and you're finding evidence for it at every turn. The fifth tip I have for you for being a law of attraction champion is to manifest things quick and easy and have life be a great adventure of manifestations is what? To rewatch this video three times a day for the next week. Well, maybe you don't have to watch it that many times, but if you do, what's going to happen is it's going to sink in, right? It's going to get out of yourself and into your consciousness, into your inner space. And it's going to start to work on your subconscious so that you just naturally pause and get calm. You're going to be naturally in a neutral position where you can naturally tell yourself stories of awesome things where you're going to be able to embrace everything, right? And be able to mirror people who seem to be against you who really aren't. They're just expressing their point of view and they're just looking for you to understand them and embrace and accept them for who they are. So enjoy your day. Enjoy these top five tips to manifest anything that you want in the world. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your awareness.